It is impossible to dispute that this week's episode of WWE Raw was loaded, fans were treated to not one but two incredible dream matches as well as a title change. Overall, this edition of WWE Raw was a lot better than usual because of the star power involved. That said, there's bound to be some criticism when it comes to a three-hour-long broadcast, and this week was no different. Do remember that Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal were in the UK depriving the brand of two top stars this week. Feel free to share your thoughts and views about WWE Raw in the comments. How much would you rate this week's show out of 10? Number 3. Best. WWE Raw sees two new champions being crowned. You could definitely make a case for Shotzi and Knox getting a shot at Natalia and Tamina Snuka before Rhea Ripley and Nikki A.S.H., or A.H.S. as Sonya Deville would likely say it. You could also say that this title change only happened because of stiff competition from the NFL and AEW. There was a point during WWE Raw when it seemed like Rhea Ripley botched her promo, but she was overwhelmed. After the message she delivered regarding pediatric cancer, there was no way that Nikki A.S.H. and Ripley were losing the title match. They did not. One has to hope that these titles are taken more seriously on WWE Raw and SmackDown and maybe even NXT. Could A.S.H. and Ripley bring a sense of relevancy to these titles that they have been missing? Number 2. Best. A new WWE Raw tag team is formed. Two extremely underrated WWE Raw superstars, Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza, are now a tag team unit and they looked great together this week. It was a great decision to have them go over Ali and Mansoor. If they're booked as dominantly as they have been, they could, in time, be legitimate competitors for the WWE Raw Tag Team Champions RK Bro. Number 2. Worst. Does Drew Gulak belong in the WWE 24-7 Championship picture, back when he was in NXT and on 205 Live? WWE Raw star Drew Gulak proved to the world that he was one of the greatest Matt wrestlers alive. These days, he's trapped in the nets as part of the 24-7 championship picture, in skits that would make Roadrunner and Wally Coyote cringe, you fans made your voice heard and ensured that Jeff Hardy was removed from the 24-7 championship picture and thrust into the United States championship scene. Maybe if you make enough noise on social media, WWE Raw star Drew Gulak's fortunes can also be reversed. Number 1, Best, Not 1, WWE Raw Books 2 Dream Matches. WWE Raw opened and closed in the best manner possible with two explosive matches. It was almost like an episode of Nitro where pay-per-view worthy matches happened on free television. Can we just say that the WWE Raw main event with Big E, Bobby Lashley, and Roman Reigns was a masterpiece in every sense? It was also the right call to protect both champions and have Lashley take the loss on this particular occasion. Number 1, Worst, Can Do Drop Move On From Eva Marie Now Please? Some of our viewers may be aware that WWE Raw superstar Do Drop is actually Piper Niven, one of the most gifted athletes between the ropes, who's capable of so much more than she's doing right now. We've already seen Eva Marie vs. Do Drop again, and there was no reason for it to happen again on WWE Raw. If she's allowed to, she could tear it up with Charlotte Flair or even Shayna Baszler. Eva Marie too, could move on to a brand new feud. WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns made his way to Monday Night Raw, and he won two matches on last night's episode. He took to Twitter to react to these victories by sending a simple message to the WWE Universe. Around two years after his previous Raw appearance, Reigns returned to the red brand for a six-man tag team match against the New Day. Alongside the Usos, Reigns' team emerged victorious thanks to Bobby Lashley's interference. In the main event on Monday night, the Tribal Chief took on Lashley and WWE Champion Big E in a triple threat match. He won the second bout by pinning the Almighty with a spear, with a pair of major wins. The head of the table has cemented his place as the dominant force across both brands in WWE. After Raw, he told the WWE Universe to acknowledge him. It is hard to argue against acknowledging Reigns' greatness following his incredible performances on Monday, as the Universal Champion won two huge matches in one night. Moving forward, he has the upper hand over Big E, with the two stars tentatively scheduled to clash in a champion vs champion match at WWE Survivor Series. In another tweet, Reigns briefly bragged about his successful night when a fan pointed out his remarkable outing on the red brand. Roman Reigns' hands are full right now, with his next three pay-per-views already booked out. If he aims to keep the Universal Championship and face Big E at WWE Survivor Series, the Tribal Chief has to overcome at least two tough challengers. First, Reigns is set to defend his title against the Demon Finn Balor at WWE Extreme Rules. The bout has now been made an Extreme Rules match, with the broadcast team confirming this development during Raw. Whatever happens on Sunday, Roman Reigns will then take on Brock Lesnar at WWE Crown Jewel. The match is currently scheduled as a non-title bout, with the Universal Championship set to be up for grabs if the head of the table can defeat the Demon. Do you think Roman Reigns will continue to reign as the Universal Champion toward the end of 2021? Sound off in the comments below.
Reports suggest that despite being medically cleared, Sasha Banks has yet to return to television. Sasha Banks returned to WWE a few weeks back to challenge Bianca Belair for the SmackDown Women's title at SummerSlam, however, the return was short-lived as Banks was not cleared to compete at SummerSlam and was replaced by Becky Lynch. It was revealed recently that the boss has been cleared to compete, but still isn't being used on WWE television because the creative is still coming up with something for her. Wrestling Inc. reported that Banks has been present backstage at SmackDown tapings, but hasn't made an on-screen return because there is no concrete creative direction for her as of now. Sasha Banks was set to renew her feud with Bianca Belair following her return. However, she wasn't cleared to compete and had to miss SummerSlam. This resulted in Becky Lynch making her return and winning the SmackDown Women's title. It is possible that WWE is waiting for Belair's feud with Lynch to get over at Extreme Rules so they can have Banks return and continue what she left unfinished. There is also a high likelihood that Banks will return to WWE at Extreme Rules and cost Belair her Women's Championship match against the man. Banks had turned heel after her return so it wouldn't be unfathomable if something like this happened. There is also the option of inserting Banks into the ongoing Raw Women's Championship scene. With the WWE draft set to take place on October 1st, a move to Raw could be on the cards for the 29-year-old. When would you like to see Sasha Banks return? Tell us in the comments section. The demon Finn Balor will walk into Extreme Rules with a chance to win the Universal Championship again. Baylor was the first man to win the Universal Championship, but an unfortunate injury never allowed his title reign to take off. This won't be the first time Baylor will challenge Reigns for the Universal Championship. Reigns offered Baylor a shot at the title right after winning it during his first reign in August 2018. Baylor recently got his second shot at Reigns' title on SmackDown. He was unsuccessful at winning the title both times, but the Demon could look to finish the job. At Extreme Rules, WWE could give Baylor an unexpected win against the Tribal Chief. Baylor could go on a roll from the opening bell and dominate Reigns with ease during the contest. He could hit the coup de grace within minutes to pin the tribal chief for the first time and take home the Universal Championship. While the ending is unlikely, it could switch things around and make Baylor the top man in WWE again.